Hey guys, the Bears fan of Six here and today for you, Brave Frontier. So I recorded the 12 Guardians Grand Guy Chronicle really the first day it came out. Um, I did not narrate it or do anything to it until just now. Um, so the first part of this is the first couple, um, the first two battles. So I'm going to talk about something else while we get through that. And then when we get to the third battle, we'll talk about um, the actual fight itself. Um, this part, for the most part, is fairly easy. Um, I actually didn't look up anything on this. I just went with it and decided to see what would happen. And it was a fairly easy one, which I'm sure you guys know by now. It's not too difficult. But um, you guys are probably wondering what happened to me, where I've been. I haven't uploaded much at all. Um, I think in the past two weeks I uploaded the ARC trial, um, which was an awesome video, I think, in my opinion. Cleared it first try. Um, pretty awesome. Pretty happy about that. Uh, and I only uploaded like two Monster Strike videos since then. So it's been quite some time since I've done anything. Um, I've had some issues in real life right now, so um, stuff's going on. I haven't been able to really record. I haven't played Brave much either. Um, so I've been a little bit disconnected from it because um, your real life has to take priority. So I had stuff I had to do. Um, I want to apologize for everyone who uh, expected more out of me for videos and, and more entertainment and more up-to-date stuff. One nice thing, Brave was kind of stagnant while I was on my little break there. Not too much happened, to be honest with you. So that was a positive, at least. Um, I know we got some new 7-star units for um, the new batches out, which I'm not summoning for yet. I'm still waiting. Um, the new batches out. Uh, the new Soulbound Saga units are out. The new 7-stars, um, which I've been working on those um, for the most part. So I apologize. Um, if you unsubscribe to me, I am sorry. Um, you probably won't see this either, but uh, sorry about that. Uh, for those who stuck around, uh, thank you. Um, I will be back um, in full swing here, um, slowly getting back into it, um, but it'll be a little bit. Um, I got a lot of stuff going on still, and I got to figure some stuff out and everything. So working on that, getting it going. Hopefully, um, won't be too much longer. I actually have some recordings done. I have some that I narrated while doing it, and then other ones I have to narrate, so I'm going to work on those. Um, this is going to be my first one today. I'm going to upload um, a summons video later today, today, so I'll have two up. And then I have a few more stuff that I can work on that I'll probably work on tomorrow and get maybe a couple more uploaded um, for you guys. So that's that. Thank you guys for sticking around, and I do apologize. Let's go. So we're on this uh, Path of Light one here. Um, What's the final battle? Loot and Lunaris. They don't do much. Cause weakness and injury. So it's not too big of a deal. Um, this team here I used... I use I use this team for a lot of stuff. Um, I think mainly Raid. I think. I don't know. I think it's Raid. I haven't, Like I said, I haven't played in a while. Um, those of you wondering where uh, Brief Frontier RPG is... Um, they're not giving out too many gems, so I'm not really summoning anything. Um, also, my fire exclusive unit, my only mitigation unit, is bugged, and he's stuck at level one, and I can't level him up, so I have no mitigation now either. So I gotta get eventually that'll get fixed, and I'll start playing it. Brave Frontier Japan. Um, I don't know, man. It's it's Japan. I uh, never been a huge fan of it. I mean, I'm a fan of it quite a lot. I'm just not. Because I can't read it. That's what bothers me. The spheres bother me because I can't read them. It's make it difficult. So this battle here is Sodas. Um, seven light, attack on all, increases damage, dealt during spark for three turns. Uh, Grib comes out, um, appears on turn three. Nine combo thunder on all and probable weakness. Zephyr comes out in turn three. Eight combo dark on all, adds defense annoying effect to two turns. Cygnus comes out as well. Six combo water on all and probable injury effect. So you get the four guys there. Looks like... Grib has 650,000 HP and Cygnus has 600,000. The other two, their HP is not listed, but um, Thunderborn died there. I honestly I don't remember this battle. It was recorded, what, two weeks ago, probably? It's been a while. Maybe three. I don't know. Actually, I think I may have been really gone for about three weeks, actually. Now that I think about it, roughly. But, yeah. So, second battle is Ophelia, Lully, Rena, and Lunaris. Um, six combo earth and all. He does a, Ophelia does attack boost throughout the battle. Lully increases HC drop rate. Rena paralysis and curse. Lunaris probable weakness. So 
Lunars, it says 800,000 HP. So again, this one's not too difficult. Now, I believe in Japan, they've added this. So we got 1, 2, and 3. And I believe they added 4, 5, and 6. And I think 4, 5, and 6 are pretty hard from what I remember. Um, so that will be fun when it comes out. Um, there's new Grand Quest out. I actually haven't even 100% the original ones. i got to work on that. But the new Grand Quest are out. Maybe I'll try to record those here in a couple of days. Um, Edia and Michelle is out, I believe. I don't. We still don't have Locke. doesn't make any sense. We've had Locke for, what, like almost a month and a half or whatever. I don't know. So this one is Battle 3. So there's four battles in this one. Alute, um, Injury Effect, Ravna, Boost Defense, Raiden, Boost Spark, and Farlon. Attack, Defense, Recovery, Hit Count, Boost when Ramna is defeated before Farlon. Best to take out Farlon first. So take out Farlon first. If I did that, me, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Do I... Do I click on, do I click on Farlin? Do I? How long did I sit here and record and not do anything? This is on 400%. Come on, go. <laughs> Come on. I should probably stop it, I guess. Literally, as soon as I stopped it, it went. <laughs> go figure. Get out of here. All right. So, uh, I don't remember what I did here. Anyways, it says kill Farlon first. Um, so I guess I didn't do it, but it didn't matter because they basically all died anyways except Raiden. And uh, I think I just single target here, yeah. I figured it would kill him, but that was way off. Way off. <laughs> it took three turns. Oh, well. Didn't do much damage. Go figure. He attacked the crap out of Ruby. Thankfully, Ruby lived. She's pretty... My Ruby's pretty weak. I mean, she is Breaker, though, I think. So... I don't always put stuff on to help her out. Not not the nicest person with her. <laughs> so final battle is Soda Salute Lunarist. Soda 7 Light Combo Attack on All. Increases damage during dealt during Spark for 3 turns. Adds attack and recovery down effect. Attack and BB attack increase to their own teammates. When a loot dies, gets attack buff. So if a loot dies, Soda gets a buff. A loot 8 Light uh, Attack on All. Probable Injury. Angel Idol effect when Soda is defeated before a loot. When Lunarist dies, he gets an attack boost. Lunaris, 7 dark attack on all, probable weakness effect, can drain BB gauge. So, as you see here, my goal was to take out the Lunaris first, because I do not like your BB gauge draining, brah. No! No, no, no. <laughs> so you get 1 million Zell, 200,000 Karma, Guardian Shard, and 3 gems. Guardian Shard is a sphere, which we'll take a look here in a moment. Um, once we kill Sodas, eventually. Yes, yes, and dead. Yay! <laughs> I mean, it's been a while since, like I said, it's been a while since I narrated or recorded, so it feels kind of good. I'm kind of happy with it that I actually finally, finally did it. So, first mission clear bonus. Alright, so I'm going to jump over to the Guardian Shard here, we'll take a look at it. Got that cleared out. I wanted to make sure that they didn't add all six in. I was kind of hoping they would, but they didn't. So, Guardian Shard, 30% boost to attack and max HP. Greatly boost BC drop rate and 50% attack boost when BB gauge is over half. 15% BC drop rate. Um, so, it is a status up item right there, as you can see. Yay! So, I had Golem Core and Ruby. That's one reason why she was a little bit weaker. But, uh, alright guys, we will see you later. And thank you for all of you who stayed for this time. <laughs>